Hey guys, I received a few days ago, I received this this nice email from Bubble, just a year recap of uh, the apps I built, like a view of the apps and etc. And I decided to, to record a short video explaining like my top five plugins that I use in my like day-to-day -day production. I thought, I thought maybe it will be interesting for you to uh, to know what I use, like my most go-to plugins when it comes to like choosing icons, choosing um, uh, some kind of notification plugin, etc. Uh, I hope it will be available for you. So let's start. So the first one is uh, Hero Icons. This is like the plugin I use the most. I install it as soon as, 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 as I create a new app. So this is kind of the icon library. For my opinion, it is much, much better than the default bubble plugins, uh, bubble icons. And uh, it is also comes with nice animations. I will, I will, in a second, I will show it to you. And um, it's nice different style variations. So you can choose between uh, outline icons and uh, uh, the uh, stand, the uh, like field icons. So this is the the plugin itself uh, from Bubble Marketplace. So you can just uh, search it, and you will find it. It's free. It uh, based on this uh, Hero Icons uh, library. Uh, this is how it looks. This how it looks uh, in um, basically in Bubble. This is the demo page of the plugin. So yeah, this is kind of the like outline. This is the solid like, field field version of the icon. It all, they also have like mini mini version of the of the of, of the icons. Uh, also. What 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 is like super super cool super interesting about this plugin? Mm, let's go to the demo page. I want to show you this. So check check this. Uh, you can add some nice loader indicators for for the for the buttons, and this is super nice uh, user experience like kind of tip. Add this loader states for your for your buttons as much as possible. Add these loaders. Add these indicators of the loading state. The app looks more professional, more modern, and kind of like finished. Next, next one, the second one, it's API connector. I think you may know this plugin already. Mm, one of the popular, like the most popular plugin in the Bubble marketplace. This is by by Bubble itself. This plugin allow you to add API connections. If your app rely on the API connection, like maybe you are connecting to the OpenAI to use to use uh, some chat completion or something maybe you use some stripe integration some uh, payment provi providers you definitely will use this plugin so um, i love this plugin uh use it all, all all the time improve my app functionality because basically if you need something that other other providers offer to you you will definitely use the api connector plugin next one toolbox this is kind of the you know, when I start using Bubble, I don't really understand uh, how how can can I use this toolbox plugin. But basically, um, as soon as you start uh, go beyond Bubble and start using some um, some traditional coding practices, some writing some JavaScript or etc., and you will uh, want to use this code in your Bubble app. So maybe you want to uh, I don't know you have like a script somewhere and you want to trigger some something uh, based on your like. You have some logical script and you want based on this javascript to trigger some some uh, functions some uh, workflows in bubble you will definitely use this uh, toolbox plugin it is it, it it allows you to run javascript uh, on bubble side so you can basically run code and make it available uh firstly in bubble you can just add some custom logic to your app and uh, on the other hand if you, for example, from my experience, when I when I was creating my uh, a Chrome extension for the Bubble, I used this plugin to basically make call, uh, make um, requests and responses between my Chrome extension and my Bubble app to trigger some logic uh, as soon as the user clicks something on the my Chrome extension to trigger some logic on the Bubble side. So this um, super useful uh, plugin as soon as you go beyond beyond only like using the, the predefined uh, pre-created elements like and you and you start using some cu custom code uh, custom logic um, a super deep plugin so you you can go like really uh, deep uh, to it so a lot of a lot of things to learn 
uh, also it is useful to pro uh, for creating lists. A list um, uh, I use for my experience. I use it for like pagination to add like uh, the pages for, for for the repeating groups. When you have a lot of elements, like for example, you're building some kind of marketplace or like uh, some kind of um, like an, a, 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 some e-commerce store or something. Like where you have like a pagination, it is useful to use this plugin to create the list, and then based on the list, create the pages uh, stru page structure in your app. A drop zone, uh, super also super nice. Uh, uh, it is pretty much easy to use plugin, but I really love it. It allows you to create to add them um, a drop zone, basically upload uh, by dragging, and uh, you, your users can like drag drag um, files to the to this element on the page, and it will be it, it will upload to the to the bubble storage, and uh, you can also use the plugin. And add some custom styling to it to create some of this uh, this type of loaders. So uh, it's kind of like if you want to create some modern looking loaders, this plugin will definitely will be your go-to solution for it. Next one, um, next one, and the last one. The, uh, this plugin also uh, my go-to plugin for notification inside uh, is inside my apps. And this plugin allows you to add these toss notifications. Also, when I use, for example, in, in combination with uh, loaders on the buttons, I use this uh, toss notification to notify the user that that action completed. Uh, also, 10x for your UX uh, experience for your users, mm, make your app more modern, more nice looking. I highly recommend you to try uh, th th this toss notification. You, you can look and you will find on the marketplace. It's a nice plugin, uh, highly recommend it. And basically, it. If you enjoy this video, uh, hit the subscribe button. Maybe left some uh, comments if you have some, maybe some thoughts you want to share something. Also, tell me what which plugins you use the most, and um, like just share which plugins you like. Uh, I will be back soon with more videos. Thank you, guys, and bye bye.